Now to new developments we're following in Iran. There is mounting tension in Tehran after recent reports that two more people have died during anti-government protests. Our Kelsey Kernstein has a look at these dramatic images from over the weekend. Kelsey, good morning. Good morning, guys. While well, all schools and higher education institutions were shut down on Sunday in the Kurdistan region of Iran as protests continue to grip the nation from small villages to the nation's capital. Protests pour into a fourth week, civil unrest, and Iran growing by the day. Tehran seeing the most destructive anti-government demonstrations. The deaths of several young women, including 22-year-old Masa Amini and 16-year-old Nika Shakarami, sparking an unprecedented wave of anger across the country. On Friday, fountains in the capital appeared to be filled with a blood-like color. The anonymous artist behind the move sharing a title, which roughly translate to Tehran sinking in blood. On Saturday, students at Azara University walked out as Iranian President Abraham Raisi visited their campus. Women could be seen gathering in large groups, chanting, Get lost! Activists also managing to hack Iran's state run broadcast over the weekend. Appearing on air, an image of Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei with flames around him and a target on his head. The eruption only lasting a few seconds before being cut off. The Iranian government keeping internet access limited. Getting images and videos out to the rest of the world remains not only difficult, but potentially dangerous. In a video message sent to Radio Farda, the mother of Nika Shakarami speaks out about her daughter's death. She says, I saw my daughter's corpse, myself. Her face and her cheeks were broken. Her teeth were crushed. She goes on to say, they killed my daughter and are threatening me. Nika's aunt and uncle have gone on to say the teen died by suicide. However, Nika's mother claims the two had been forced to say this. And it does remain unclear just how many people have died since the protest broke out in September. We do know that two weeks ago, Iran's state-run broadcasting service reported 41 deaths. However, this is a very stark contrast to Norway-based nonprofit that says it has recorded at least 154 deaths related to the unrest. But September 30th is now being called Bloody Friday. In fact, Amnesty International claims 66 people died that day. But the things we take for granted in this country, just being able to show our hair, Absolutely. this is something we could not do if we lived there. Well, it's crazy to hear that you just don't know how many people are dying as yes, well. It's, it's so hard true. to get accurate information it's, out of that country. It, yes. All right, Kelsey, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.